Hello students, hope all of you are doing nicely with God's grace. Today I have come with the fourth story and through this story we will prove one Odia saying and I think all of you must have heard this Odia saying before. I have been listening this Odia saying from my childhood and that Odia saying is Bhagavan Jahakaranti Pranira Mangalapai. So let's be, uh, let me begin the story and after the end of the story you try to consider whether this Odia saying was correct enough or not. Long long ago there was a poor illit <coughs> illiterate sorry <coughs> there was a poor illiterate old man he used to live inside a village near the hillside. As his property, he had only his one and only son. The one day what happened, one beautiful white horse came to his home from the nearest forest accidentally. Now the neighbors surrounded to him, all of them came near to him and started appreciating him like anything. Some of them told that you, uh, you are the luckiest person of this village and some of them told you definitely have God's grace otherwise it is not possible for a normal human being to get a such kind of force without any effort. There are this type of appreciations now these neighbors pouring to this poor man's poor man. But the poor man does not have any reaction towards the opinions and remarks of these neighbors. So after a couple of days what happens again that white horse went back to the forest now again the neighbors they started coming to this poor man's home and blaming him like any way anything some of them told uh, really you are not deserving that uh, horse and some of them told that you are not the luckiest person of the village we misjudged you such type of things they now they told to this poor man but as the first time this poor man has had no has no any reaction towards the opinion of this neighbors so what happens again after a couple of days one miracle again happened that particular fighters came to this poor man so with four of his friends now again it was the time of the neighbors and they also now came to this uh, poor man's home and again started saying that we mistrust you once again you are really the luckiest person of the village and the poor man this time also has the same reaction as for the first two reactions the now the old man and his son they used to take care of these horses and uh, now they happily they were living their lives so unfortunately one day what happened his one and only son went for a horse riding by taking one of these horses. So during this horse riding timing, now his son fell from one horse and he broke his leg. So now it was the time for the neighbors once again and they also did not want to lose this opportunity. Now they, all of these neighbors now they started coming to this poor man's home and they started blaming to him any, any, like anything. Some of them were told that uh, since you have got this horse without any effort, that is why you faced this problem. And some of them told, if someone uh, gets anything without any effort, without uh, financial or uh, physical, then God gives this type of punishment to him. So many type, many uh, what, many different uh, type of panic remarks all these neighbors gave to this poor man. But this time, this the old man went into deep depression since his one and only property as his son, he broke his leg. It was being him, it was um, brought this uh, old man into great depression. So now, with a great devotion, he asked to the Almighty, My dear Lord, I am illiterate. I am poor. 
I don't have the knowledge. But according to my consciousness, what I think, as the creator of this universe, your plans will be definitely for the betterment of your creation. Like me, as the creator of my son, how I will think something, anything harmful towards my child. Since it is not possible for a human being, how it will be possible for the great almighty. The I am sure whatever you are doing, that will be definitely for the betterment of me as well as the for the society. The during um, means after uh, some days his uh, son was bedridden now and gradually he was improving. The now what happened? The state where he was living, that particular state involved with the war against the neighboring state. And now the king of this particular place announced all the youths of different villages has to take part in this war and the king adopted to his assistants you go to all the villages and search the young lads from this village now the king's assistant they came to this poor man's village also and they took all the young ones from this village except this broken leg young this broken leg lad so now what happened when the war over many of these young ones died and many of them injured but the only one the only young man of the village who was saved that is this poor man's lad poor man's son the so now these neighbors they didn't have the dare, the confidence to go to this poor man's home and to say something. And the poor man now did not also say this neighbor, his neighbors anything and he himself got the peace and he now thank to God that God today I realized your plan and whatever I was expecting that has come true. So this was the story, from this story, what we understood, I have written some conclusions from this story. The first one, the first point of the story, don't go with the remarks of others, believe on God. Don't believe, don't go with the remarks of others, means whenever anyone is appreciating you or blaming you, don't need to be either bother about this or don't need to be get excited about this okay you only have to keep faith on your work second point is we human being don't have the most knowledge to search god's plan really we human being we are limited to four dimensions and we human being don't have that most knowledge to judge God's plan. This is the second point. Third point is don't need to be either excited or panicked to little ups and downs. Whenever there are little ups and downs, we don't need to be more panic or we don't need to be more excited because these are the part of our life. Number four, keep a strong belief on the Almighty after offer and offer your deeds to Him. So while doing any of your deeds, keep a strong faith, keep a strong belief on him and offer your deeds to him. Thank you students. Today this must and I will again come back with my next story. Thank you.